there's the dragon. Let's uh, give him a warm welcome. Link style! Yeah. Oh no, Medley. It's a tarp! Bring it on! I'm the Legend of Zelda! Oh no, a Moblin. You ain't so tough anymore. No stealth section to kill me now! Yeah! Die! Ow! Holy shit! That did a lot of damage! Bam! And sweet. Reap the benefits. Skull necklace! Once again, will be used for later. And some rupees, and that's just great. And now I am down to two hearts, so... Might need to think about using that potion pretty soon. Okay, then. Oh, really? The chamber. Mm, probably. Oh. And what is it? You got the hook! Yeah, no, uh, no hook shot in this game, you just only get a grappling hook, so, that's a shame. So, grappling hook's pretty awesome. Cool. Can I dual wield grappling hooks? That'd be awesome! Uh, yeah, and look, look at the, uh, the physics on, uh, the physics on these, uh, on these, uh, tassels? Yeah. This is 2003, so this would have been, like, really cool. It still looks awesome. Oh, don't need that. And here, let's, uh... We'll set this to Y and this to X. There we go. And we always have to have our camera ready. Oh, actually, can I get a good selfie of the dragon? No, I can get a better one. No, oh, damn it. No, I can get a better one. I can get a better one. There we go. Perfect. Well, bam. And once again, if you're uh, just joining in right now, you can uh, you can check out my posts on uh, all the selfies and stuff I've posted about this game on the Mimiverse account, which is just Turner. T-U-R-N-E-R. Product placement! Let's go! Yes, and uh, as you just saw, one of my favorite things about the grappling hook and uh, the HD version, gyroscope! So, you can be lame and go like this, and aim like that, or you can be badass and aim like this, bam! Or you can be lame and aim like this. Or you can be badass and aim like this. Bam. Gyroscope. Kicks the shit out of analog stick. At least in my opinion. Let's go. And now we can head down here. Did that damage me? No, I don't think it did. Good. Let's keep going. More. Also, as you might uh, notice, uh, the animation for when the grappling hook uh, latches onto the wood uh, has been reduced drastically. It used to swing around the hook like three times and then you swing. They made it so it like just does it rapidly. So, once again, just a little thing that they just patched out, or not patched out, because like it wasn't a glitch or anything. Just tuned up, tuned up, and it just makes it 
That much better. Back into the dungeon. And uh, now with our new grappling hook, we can actually uh, kill this guy. Uh, and this guy. But yeah, with the new grappling hook, we can actually uh, steal enemy items from them, so... All the Bacoblins in the game actually are carrying joy pendants, so... Using the grappling hook, we'll actually be able to make 20 joy pendants really quickly. Okay, then. And uh, now, this is one of the coolest, th uh, coolest, uh, cooler parts of this dungeon. We take this fire... And, uh, we die. What's my health at? Uh, I can afford. What? <sighs> I know, Kingy. God. Oh God, D. That goblin was just charging me. That actually scared me. Uh, I could take one more fall into lava, so I'm not worried. Uh, the goblins do. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Did I keep the the joy pendants that I took? So if that's the case, did did they just like respawn the joy pendants? Because that's nuts. If they did, anyway, what you do is you can take the torch and go like this, and bam! Make the su su suspension bridge fall, and now we're on the bottom floor. Yeah. With another joy pendant. Sweet. And we don't need to use the uh, the pots to get back up, so let's just keep going. Oh, this is a cool part right here. Hop in the center of this, and get ready for it. Ah, damn it. Oh, well, there you go. Oh, that's interesting. It does not beep on hero mode. It doesn't beep when you're at one heart, but Link still does this animation. Well, time to drink my potion, then. Maybe I'll, hopefully I'll find a rat, even though I don't think I'm going to need it for the boss. Okay. Let's crawl into the center of here, and... Bam! No! God damn it, game! Uh, let's try this once more. What the flying fuck? Uh, what? What the hell was that? Well, I'm running out of all my hearts. That's good to know. There! Was that so goddamn hard? What the fuck? Well, I hope I find a rat, because I'm going to need it, apparently. Let's save our game just in case I end up dying. God damn it. Okay. You saw that. I was in the middle, like, at least two of those three attempts. Ah, that was silly. Okay. And, uh, up here we... Simply grab this. Well, bam. That opens and we can swing back. Oh, okay, that was a close one. Holy shit. Oof. Anyway. Here's one of the biggest examples of uh, the change they made. So, normally, what you have to do is you have to come to a dead stop, turn, and then swing. But now with the HD version, all you have to do is just turn as you swing. No uh, dead stopping required. Such a simple fix. And we'll swing one more for good measure. There we go. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, bam. Ah, 
on, here's the uh, boss key, but it's covered by fire, so we're gonna need to uh, find a way to... Well, actually, let me, let's try this. Oh, cool. That was easy. God damn it. But we're gonna need to find a way to put that switch down, so let's uh, deal with this. Yeah! Oh. It's actually not what we're supposed to do. Oh, keep spawning though. Okay. Nope. Nope. Don't fall into the lava. There we go. Yeah, we can use their corpses. Uh, what are the curled up bits? Curled up bits. That sounds once again naughty. Um, we can actually just use them to uh, push down the switch and reap the rewards. Yeah, yeah, big key. And now we can uh, kill this guy because we don't need him anymore. No, I didn't even drop anything. Oh well. Actually, uh, this is basically just backtracking, so you don't need to see this. I'm gonna go to the shortcut pot, the uh, the final shortcut pot, and I'm going to warp to the first shortcut pot and go somewhere. Okay, so I took the first, uh, I took the final warp, warp to the first warp, and now I'm, uh, uh, I'm going to get, uh, a chest, because now that we have the grappling hook, we can access it. Oh, god damn it. It's okay, I'm actually not worried about the, uh, oh, jeez. I'm actually worried. Uh, there is something to heal ourselves with. Uh, when we get to the boss door, so I'm actually not going to backtrack for the rat. Especially since it costs another 30 rupees, and I don't feel like spending 90 rupees in this dungeon on potions. Okay. Once we melt that, we can actually hop across here, and inside this chest... It's a treasure chart! And believe it or not, this treasure chart actually does lead to a piece of heart, so we're going to want to take advantage of that later. But now I will meet you back in the uh, the final warp area. Okay, I'm at the final warp area. I'm just going to quickly save my game in case the worst should happen. Because <laughs> then I'll just be able to warp right back here. And, uh, sure, let's swing across, now that we have a uh, boss key and everything else we need. So, up here, if we break open this pot, we'll find a fairy. And we'll bottle that fairy, and now, as soon as we die, the fairy will automatically heal us. Assuming we die, the boss, but I'm actually feeling pretty confident. Oh my god! There's a second fairy. Sweet. I did not think there was a second fairy. Well, now I'm feeling uber confident. And, uh, for a second there, when the fairy was circling around me, I thought it wasn't going to heal me. It, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't refilling my hearts, and I thought for a second that they actually disabled fairies or something on hero mode. Which would be insane, because that's my, because that would mean you have to spend a lot of money on potions. Or just be really, really good at the game to not get hit. Which is kind of hard sometimes. I'm really surprised there was a second uh, potion, uh, second fairy there. That's really surprising. Uh, anyway, I guess I do not need, um, I do not need, uh, the potion on one of my buttons because it'll just automatically revive me if I die, so that's nice. Knight's Crest! Sweet! All who skilled in the ways of the sword. Huh, I wonder if we know anyone like that. Anyway, here's the boss door. Yeah, let's head in. Let's go! Oh my god! Ouch. Goma! Yeah, for some reason they don't actually tell you the names of the bosses in this game, for some reason. 
but yeah, this is Goma, and Goma is pretty much in every single uh, Zelda game, especially the main, uh, the 3D ones. So yeah, and to uh, for this first part, we gotta anger Valu and get him to drop this rock. There we go. Is yeah, anything we do against Goma doesn't do anything because uh, her armor is way too powerful at this point. Epic slowdown. Okay, and let's uh, hop in here and bam. Yeah, you can actually move in first person while you're holding stuff like the grappling hook, which is, I believe, uh, something they added for the HD remake, so that's pretty cool. Make boss fights like this a bit easier. And uh, the next boss fight a lot easier, being able to move around. Okay. Come on. Ow! Oh my god, I did not know the fire could actually hurt you when it's splashing down. Bam. Zoom, zoom, zoom! Uh-oh. Now your armor's gone. Nothing to protect you. Uh, over here, stupid. There we go. Here. Okay, and... <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a good picture. Holy crap. No. Here we go. And let's post this during the boss fight. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, that's funny. Don't die! Aw, oh, damn it. Get back here! Get back here! You're gonna pay for messing with the loose tail! And die! Uh, that's creepy. Decapitation! Do it! Happy dance! Yeah! We beat Goma, yeah! Sweet! And then we get our first. Heart container! There we go. Sweet, now we have a total of five hearts, and uh, yeah, we're gonna need them. So now we basically have two and a half hearts. Hero mode! Uh, let's get out of this cavern. Not pissed anymore, because the big bad spider is dead. <laughs> <laughs> 